so just been here cleaning on the lunchbox a little bit after taking it out and abusing it some on the asphalt which is not the best idea in the world and while I completely enjoy doing wheelies with this guy it's very fun uh, I thought about doing something that I did as a kid when I had a midnight pumpkin where you take this wheelie bar and you undo the two Phillips screws on each side and you flip it over and what it does is it causes the wheelie bar to point down a little bit and when you hit the throttle the rear end kicks the wheelie bar goes to the ground and if I remember correctly it would actually cause the rear of the vehicle lift to lift just a little bit and you could spin and you could drift and play around without constantly doing wheelies and flipping over and destroying your shiny black plastic that you loved so dearly so I'm gonna do an experiment now that it's you know 20 25 years later and flip this wheelie bar over and just go for a little spin and see how it does a little bit difficult to hold the camera and do this at the same time <laughs> So as I said, you take the wheelie bar from this position, take it off and flip it over into this position. And as you can see, that's going to make a huge difference in the, gr the distance from the ground to this wheel on the wheelie bar. And that's going to really drastically change how high the front end comes up, if it even comes up at all anymore. Okay, with our wheels back on and the lunchbox sitting at a stock height, you can see the difference here with that wheelie bar flipped over. That is a huge, huge difference the way it's pointing down. And so now it can only come up to like this, this angle here, which those of you familiar with the lunchbox know that like don't only stand up like this to the point that you're just on the edge of having a wreck. Unless you go, of course, to some of the, the custom wide wheelie bars like some of the guys do. And, I just am into this, into the lunchbox for the nostalgic appeal. So I kind of like having a stock looking lunch, or a wheelie bar on here. So let's go out now, take this thing for a whirl and see what it does. I'm, I'm kind of hoping the front end comes up a little bit, but just not a whole lot. Because I, I want to be able to still pop wheelies. I mean, that's what lunchbox is all about. So look, look here. So I, do, I still have the factory factory frame. I've not done the fifth shock mount. So when you when you allow the front end to move, you really get the wheelie bar all the way down, almost to the ground, before the front wheels come up when this is maxed out in here. So we're going to take them out and. Hopefully do a little bit of drifting around, a little bit of wheelies, a little bit of everything. And maybe show some people something they haven't thought of before. So there we go. We'll just slap the body on, put a battery in, get that leaf out of there. Maybe not. And go have some fun.
Thank you.